ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿಗೆ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರಿಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿದತ್ತಾಂ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ಸೊ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೇಸಿಕಾ ವರದರಾಜ ಪಂಚಾಸತ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಟಿಯತ್ ವರ್ಷ್ ಪ್ರೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ವರದನ್ ಟು ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ರಕ್ಷಕತ್ವಂ ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಡಿಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಜೇಂದ್ರ ದ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇನ್ ನೋ ವೇ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಗಜೇಂದ್ರ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ದನ್ ಗಜೇಂದ್ರ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕಾಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಕ್ರೋಕೋಡೈಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಶ್ ಟು ರೆಸ್ಕ್ಯೂ ಮೀ ರೈಟ್ ನಾವ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಗರುಡನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಚಕ್ರಾಯುಧಮ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಜೇಂದ್ರ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ನಾ ನೌ ಹೀ ಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಷ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ನಾವ್ ನಿರ್ವಾಪಯಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಕದಾ ಕರಿಶೈಲಧಾಮನ್ ದುರ್ವಾರ ಕರ್ಮ ಪರಿಪಾಕ ಮಹಾಧವಾಗ್ನಿ ಪ್ರಾಚೀನ ದುಃಖಮಿಪೆ ಅಭಿಮೇ ಸುಖಯನ್ನಿವತ್ವತ್ ಪಾದಾರವಿಂದ ಪರಿಚಾರ ರಸ ಪ್ರವಾಹ ಹೇ ಕರಿಶೈಲ ಧಾಮನ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕರಿಶೈಲ ದ ಮೌಂಟನ್ ದ ದ ಆನೆಮಲೈ ಹಸ್ತಿಗಿರಿ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ವರದ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೇವ್ ಅಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತತ್ ಪಾದಾರವಿಂದ ಪರಿಚಾರ ರಸಪ್ರವಾಹ ದ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೂಜಾ ಅಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ತೇನೇ ಮಲರು ತಿರುಪಾದ ದ ರೆಡ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲೂಮ್ಡ್ ರೆಡ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಖೈಂಕರ್ಯಂ ಅಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ತ್ವತ್ ಪಾದಾರವಿಂದ ಪರಿಚಾರ ರಸ ಪ್ರವಾಹ ದ ಆನಂದ ಪ್ರವಾಹ ದ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಖೈಂಕರ್ಯಂ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೋಟ ಒಳಿವಿಲ್ ಕಾಲಮೆಲ್ಲ ಮೂಡನಾಯಿ ಮನ್ನಿ ಒಳಿವಿಲ ಅಡಿಮೆ ಶಯ್ಯ ವೆಂಡುಮ್ ನಾಮ್ ನಮ್ಮಾಳ್ ವಾರ್ಸೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ತಿರುವಾಯಿಮಿಳಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಟೈಮ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ಲಾಲೆಸ್ ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಲೆಸ್ ಆನಂದ ಕೈಂಕರ್ಯಂ ಅಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಕೈಂಕರ್ಯ ರುಚಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಆನಂದ ಪ್ರವಾಹಂ ದಟ್ ಅಪರಿಮಿತ ಆನಂದ ಪ್ರವಾಹಂ ಮಾಂ ಸುಖಯನ್ನಿವ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಆನಂದ ಸುಖಯ ನಿವ ಮೇ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಮೇ ದುರ್ವಾರ ಕರ್ಮ ಪರಿಪಾಕ ಮಹಾಧವಾಗ್ನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂಮರಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾರಿಜಬಲ್ ಪಾಪಮ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಮರಸ್ ಪಾಪಮ್ಸ್ ಮಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಪಮ್ಸ್ ಅಡಿ ಏನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಪಾಪಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವುಡ್ might begin to yield fruits and that spark would become a huge fire and it would completely engulf me and would would scorch me would burn me char me so that that fire as well as prachina dukkham abhi even the dukkham that i had performed earlier whatever when i reg- when i regret the past that i had that dukkham that i again had wasted so much of time without thinking and contemplating on you that even that you would facilitate me to make that become sukham means at least now and uh, where was i and where am i now so feel blissful about count your blessing blissful about it kada nirvapayishyati when will it when is it going to 
when is this fire and the, and the scorch, the heat is going to be gotten rid of and I enjoy the eternal kainkaryam at your lotus feet. Swami mentions that Aryan has accumulated limitless papams. They have reached a stage and are surrounding me like a, like a whole huge agni, the fire. Swami Desigan asked with great eagerness, earnestness, as to when you are going to bless Adiyan with Kainkarya at your lotus feet. Karishaila Dhaman, Tvat Padaravinda Parichara Rasapravaha Kada Nirva Paishyati. This question as to when you are going to bless Adiyan, very similar to Alavandas, Kada Puna Shankara Danga Kalpaka Dujara Vindam Kusa Vajalanchanam, Trivikrama Stvat Charanarunambujam Madhiya Murdhanam Alam Karishyati. O Trivikrama, when, you are, when will your lotus feet that, that bears the, the Shank Chakram, the, the Kalpakam Vriksham, the, the Kodi Banner, the Lotus, the Ankusham, the Vajrayidam, all these things are the marks on, on the underneath of your Lotus Feet. That Lotus Feet, when will it adorn my head? Kada, Kada, Kada. He is lamenting and pleading, praying. Similarly, Ramanuja Acharya mentions in Vaikuntha Gadhyam, after performing Sharanagati in Sharanagati Gadhyam and Srinanga Gadhyam, he says, Kadaham, Bhagavantam, Narayanam, Mamakula Nadham, Mamakula Daivatam, Mamakula Dhanam, Mama Bhogyam, Mama Mataram, Mama Pitaram, Mama Sarvam, Sakshat Karavani Chakshusha. He is, his outpouring is completely emotional and so beautiful and appealing. Kadaham Bhagavat Padambuja Dvayam Shirasa Sankrahi Shyami Kadaham Bhagavat Padambuja Dvaya Parichari Yashaya Nirasta Samasta Idara Vokasha Apagata Samasta Samsarika Swabhavata Padambuja Dvayam Pravek Shyami When will I be able to enter into your, into your lotus feet? Kadaman Kata Maam Bhagavan Swakiyaya Ati Hitalaya Dhrisha Avalokya Snigda Gambhira Madhuraya Kira Parichariyaya Agnya Paishyati, when will your, when will, when will your Jodhivai Tirande open your mouth and instruct and, and order Adiyan for Kainkaryam, do this, do that and that Kainkaryam, when Agnya Paishyati, when will you instruct me to do this Kainkaryam and Ramanuja following that Swami Desikan mentions here that Swami appears and describes the flood of Anandam arising from the Kainkaryam to Varadam. That flood of Anandam arising from such Kainkaryam will destroy all my sins and free from the samsaric flames which is scorching me and charming. When will that flood of Paramanandam associated with this Kainkaryam to you put out the wild fire of my all papams? And Swami mentions that when my prapati has fructified an uninterrupted bliss of Kaikaryam service at the feet of the Lord, the flow of Anandam arising out of that is so tasty, so delicious, so blissful that it will completely extinguish the jungle fire, the papams that was caused by so many papams that had accrued continuously over eons by my own committal. And the fire was thought almost unavoidable and inextinguishable. Now it is possible that the Kainkarya Ananda Pravaham, the flood avalanche of that blissful Kainkarya Anubhavam would completely extinguish the fire regardless of the quantum of the fire. When, may, when will I be in, uh, enabled to serve you in such a manner that it would make me tend to feel that the Papam had faded away and even the papam, thinking of that papam would be a blissful experience that where was I and where am I? Yes, now I am experiencing a sweet bliss. How can I ever recall a brief grief of the past? It's all because of that Adiyan has reached the stage. Because of your taduttat kollal, aduvum avanade innarule. In the same way, this is all from from uh, Jitante Stotram, Megashyamam Vishalaksham, Kada Drakshyami Chakshusha, Unnasam Charuvadanam Bimboshtam Shopitananam. 
విశాల వక్షసం శ్రీశం కంపుగ్రీవం జగద్గురుం ఆజానుబాహుపరికం ఉన్నతాంశం మధుద్విషం కరబోరుం శ్రియఃకాంతం కదా ద్రక్ష్యామి చక్షుష విశాల నిన్న నాభింతం ఆపీ జగనం హరిం ఆపీన జగనం హరిం దెన్ హిసేస్ వర్ మోక్షం సాలోక్య సారూప్యం ప్రార్థయేన కథాచన ఇచ్చామ్యహం మహాబాహో సాయుజ్యం తవ సువ్రత అండ్ సకలావరణాతీత కింకరోస్మి తవానక పున పున కింకరోస్మి తవాహం పురుషోత్తమ అగైన్ అండ్ అగైన్ వట్ విల్ వట్ కైంకర్యం ఐ విల్ డూ అండ్ దట్స్ ద వే వి కదా గంభీరయావాచ శ్రియాయుక్తో జగత్పతి చామర వ్యగ్రహస్తం మాం ఏవం కుర్విది వక్షతి విత్ యువర్ గంభీరయావాచ విత్ యువర్ గంభీర్య వర్డ్స్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ వెన్ విల్ యూ ఆస్క్ మీ టు పర్ఫామ్ దీస్ కైంకర్యం ఇన్ జితంతే స్తోత్రం సేమ్ ఎకోడ్ ఇన్ రామానుజ సేమ్ ఎకోడ్ బై ఆళవందార్ సేమ్ ఎకోడ్ రిఫ్లెక్టెడ్ మిరర్డ్ ఇన్ వేదాంత దేశిక వరదరాజ పంచాసన్ ఆల్ దట్ వీ నీడ్ టు డూ ఈజ్ టు కాపీ అండ్ పేస్ట్ రిసైడ్ దీస్ స్తోత్రంస్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ నో ఇంటెన్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్లీడింగ్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ అన్స్నెస్ అట్లీస్ట్ ఫర్ నాటకం సేక్స్ యాక్టింగ్ సేక్ ప్రిటెన్షన్ సేక్ వి క్యాన్ డూ దట్ రైట్ కవితాత్మక సింహాయ కళ్యాణ గుణశాలినే శ్రీమతే వెంకటేషాయ వేదాంత గురవే నమ అడియే నమో నారాయణ శ్రీమాన్ వెంకటనాథార్య కవితార్కికేశరి వేదాంతాచార్యవర్యో మే సన్నిదత్తా సదాహృది ఆఫ్టర్ ప్లీడింగ్ ఫార్ ఎటర్నల్ బ్లిస్ఫుల్ కైంకర్యం వెన్ 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 కథాహం 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 కథా ద్రక్ష్యామి చక్షుష కథా గంభీరయావాచ లైక్ దాట్ హీ హ్యాడ్ ప్రేడ్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ వర్స్ ఫార్టీ వన్ నా స్వామి దేశికన్ ఇన్ వరదరాజ పంచాసత్ ఇన్ శ్లోక ఫార్టీ టూ హీ ఈస్ ఆస్కింగ్ సో బ్యూటిఫులీ అబౌట్ ద ద వెన్ విల్ ఐ గో ఇన్ దట్ అర్చిరాది మార్గం అండ్ రీచ్ యూ బీయింగ్ వెల్కమ్డ్ బై ద దేవాస్ ఇన్ ద దేవయానం సో హీ గోస్ బై ద దేవయాన పాత్ కాల్ ద అర్చిరాది మార్గం లెడ్ బై ద పెరుమాల్ సర్వెంట్స్ ఎ లార్జ్ టీమ్ from archis the agni the adishtana devatais in respect of the day the bright fourth night the uttarayanam the varsham the vayu the sun god the moon god the lightning the rain god devendra prajapati and then reaches the viraja nadi it all mentions in ragasitra saram swami t- talks about in the 21st chapter where he does talk about the gati chintana adhikara so swami describes the path of archiradi and and calls it as devapada the various guides that lead jeevatman from one place to another place and a superhuman called amanavan leading him to the supreme brahman the supreme shri vaikuntha nathan in the end as a king fondles and welcomes the son the prince who is who is now sincere and obedient to him the lord permal himself makes this jeevatma the liberated soul led to his place by various adivahikas such as agni and others so the agni the deity of the day the deity of the bright half of the month the uttarayanam the year the vayu aditya moon all varuna indra prajapati everybody is respectfully led by these guides and he attains the paramatma he is endowed with a subtle body that's meant only for the the on the path of archiradi by virtue of his prapatti sharnagati or upasanam he cast away his 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 thula shariram while reaching the divine river viraja crosses the river he is endowed with a non material apragrata shariram where he is led to the to the lake of airamadiyam and then the people tree called soma savana and he is welcomed by the by, by the divine celestial 
themselves and the others and he is decorated with brahma alankaram the kaushitaki upanishad describes all this in a glory of the mukta jiva mukta atma so beautifully and the the deity is are congratulating the liberated mukta atma with great respect and veneration and that is what swami mentions in the verse number 42 mukta swayam sukrita duskrita shankala abhyam achir mukair adikritai rativah hitatva swachchanda kinkara taya bhavatah karisha स्वाभाविकं प्रति लभेय महाधिकारम हे करीशा खरीगिनी नाथ अहम ना मी दुष्कृत दुष्कृत श्रृंगलाभ्या सुकृत दुष्कृत श्रृंगलाभ्या पुण्यम पापम द टू शाकल्स पुण्यम इज अ गोल्डन शाकल पापम इज द अयर्न शाकल बट बोथ आर शाकल्स एंड आर बाइंडिंग अस स्वयं मुक्त अर्चिन मुख i got myself ridden of these shackles by with the with the right intervention of yours with your grace by performing this sharanagati and you as the siddhopayam sharanagati as the sadhyopayam now archir mukai adigritai adivahitatva by agni la et etal the adivahikas lead me to the archiradi margam bavata உனக்கு ஸ்வச்சந்த இஷ்டப்படி சேஷபூதன் ஐ ஹவ் பீன் என்ஸ்லேவ்ட் அண்ட் ஐ ஹவ் நவ் பீன் ஃபெசிலிட்டேட்டட் ஆர் ஐ ஹவ் நவ் பீன் மேட் டு பிகம் த சர்வெண்ட் ஆஃப் யுவர்ஸ் அட் ஆல் டைம்ஸ் சர்வதேச சர்வகால சர்வாவஸ்தாஷு சா அச்சுதா கிங்கரோஸ்மி ரிஷி கேஷா பூயோ பூயோஸ்மி கிங்கர ஜிதந்தே ஸ்தோத்ரம் அண்ட் இன் ஆல் பிளேசஸ் at all times under all circumstances i am your dasa bhutan shesha bhutan kinkara daya swabhavikam mahadikaram pratilabheya you are going to give me and i am going to attain the 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 grandest of the positions that you are eternal servant and perform that kainkaryam swami here talks about the the so beautifully that he said when will adiyan be freed from the golden iron shackles of punya papam and become a muktan assisted by the agni devan and others in the archiradi margam during adiyan's journey and arrive at your supreme shri vaikuntham after crossing the virajanadi to enjoy the blessings of swabhavika samrajyam kaikarya samrajyam and then to perform the nitya kaikaryam to you and your divine consort and enjoy parama purushartham paripurna brahmananda anubhavam when will it be swami mentions in similar way in artha, artha panchakam irinilang viduttirunda sirai viduttu or nadinal karinilangal kadakkum iru vilang viduttu punya papam are the two shackles that i would get rid of and karinilangal kadakkum i will cross all these places tam tiru madudane tam tani arasai urai indra andamil perinbattil adiyavarodi amai cherthu bundi ilandana ella mugikkattanda aatkollum andamila arulaali attiri tirumale attiri tirumal andamila arulaali the never ending endless graceful most compassionate merciful lord attiri tirumal who is there along with parindevi tayar the divya dampati tani arasai urahindra unparalleled peerless the the, the seshi divya dampati who would join unite me with the rest of the bhagavatas at sri vaikuntham and would give me whatever adiyan had lost so far the kaikarya prapti and kaikarya ruchi thereby adiyan would be blessed with with uh, all this ananda anubhavam as will be greeted by muktas and nityatmas there and by getting rid of this golden shackles and the iron shackles of punya papa karmas respectively and by leading through the by to see vai kuntam by the adivahikas and amanushe amanava so his baddha dashai is now over and this mukta dashai has started and he expresses 
his earnest and inquisitive or zealous desire to perform his the kaikarya he seeks now the kaikarya prapti and swami mentions that this is the service free independent voluntary blissful tasty unlike any other duty that we perform the service that one performs in this earth is nothing compared to what is being performed at shri vaikuntham muktan is bhagavat kinkara he is a he is a servant however he can perform whatever that he wants to he does it willingly and blissfully happily on his own accord tan baritta kramatil bhagavat kaikaryam shayai shayina he likes he would do whatever the kaikaryam that he wants to do and this punya papams would completely be finished extinguished when he starts this archiradi margam this archiradi margam the stula shariram the gross body which is gotten rid of and the sukshma shariram of jeevatma with pranan manas jnanendriya karmendriya escaping through the brahmanadi to sushumna or murdhanya at the at the crown of and then the at the and the through the archis the fire god and then the presiding deity of the day the ahas the shukla paksha presiding deity of the bright fortnight of the moon and then uttarayana the presiding deity of the half year of the sun's northern movement samvatsara the presiding deity of the year vayu the presiding deity of the wind surya the sun god chandra who questions the soul on its eligibility to reach paramapadam and then he is happy satisfied then goes to varuna the master of the universe indra the master of devas and then prajapati the brahma chaturmukha brahma who and then takes the sukshma shariram of the jiva on its upward march after it is being permitted by chandra amanava purusha also called as vidyut purusha and also called as manasa purusha and now after crossing the viraja river the river that bestows agelessness and taking the apragrata shariram he the the soul takes a great lake takes bath in airamadiyam and somasa vasvana somasavana the forest of ashwatha trees where the apsaras and the aprag adorn the apragrata shariram of the soul with brahma gandham brahma rasam brahma tejas the fra- divine fragrance the divine taste and the divine splendor and brahma rasam thereby aparajita the paramapada lokam salokyam and then samipyam vichakshanam the pitam the seat and sarupyam takes the same form as vishnu with shankar chakram and the divine sarupyam the same form the 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 same divine fame and then bhagavan shri vishnu narayana he takes the jivatma on his lap and asks who are you then when answered that you are eternal servant reaching you he feels blissful and he kisses on the forehead of the jivatma and instructs the jivatma to perform eternal kaikarya and enjoy the blissful anubhavam with the rest of the nitya mukta jivatmas what a wonderful way in which the our kaushalya ki upanishad explains and describes this also mentioned by namalwar in tiruvayamali also explained by ramanuja in sri vaikuntha gadya kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedhanta gurave namaha adiye namo narayan <coughs> श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कविताके कैसरी वेदाताचार्यवर्यो मे सन्नीदत्ता सदा हृदय नमो नारायण वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग टू एंजॉय स्वामी देशिका वरदराज पंचाशत नाउ वी आर गोइंग एंजॉय द वर्स नंबर फोर्टी थ्री द अवतारिक कमेंटेटर राइट्स फॉर दिस वर्स Perumal appears to be telling Desikan, O Thupul Pullai, 
you have mentioned in dehali sastuti the last shlokam with atrupti and you would like to come here and pray to varadara varadan in kanchipuram and with with sarva karma nivritti purvakam after praising me after performing sharanagati you would like to go to nitya vibhuti shri vaikuntham and perform eternal kankarya and that is what is my abhishtam for me you mentioned and now i have placed you at my sami samipyam in kanchipuram you took birth here in topul you are you grew up here and you are at my feet in kanchipuram and niradishaya mad bhakti you have been blessed with and if if i give you the dasyam here in this but itself in kanchi at my lotus feet enjoying me what's wrong in being in this samsara and by keeping you here longer it is also loka rakshanartham because others will follow you as acharya and you would you would save many more jeevatmas as shishyas permal appears to be telling desikan in the avatarika he says and vedanta desika realizes that and he is so immensely pleased with permal's questioning thus and he mentions this shloka tvam chet prasidasi tavasmi samipataschet tvayasti bhakti ranagha karishailanata संसृज्यते यदि च दासजनस्वधीय संसारेश भगवन् अपवर्ग एव हे करीशैलनाथ द मोस्ट बेनिफैक्टर द वन हू स्टैंड्स ऑन करीगिरी अस्तिगिरी हे भगवन् पेरमाले द वन हू हेज गॉट षडुण्य षाडुण्य परिपूर्णन वन हू हेज गॉट द ज्ञान बल ऐश्वर्य वीर शक्ति तेजस् द सिक्स opulent attributes tvam prasidas shishet if you bless me with your grace thus tava samipata asmi chet to make me be very in close proximity to you here in this kanchipuram in in front of your divya mangala vigraham twai anaga bhakti asti chet to make me be engaged in blemishless bhakti on you at your lotus feet if you bless me with that twadiya dasajana also twadiya dasajana yadi samsrujyate cha in addition if you have created if you have given rise to the congregation or the association or the satsangam of your bhakta kulam bhakta goshti for me so if you give these three number 1 the being in close proximity to lord varadarajan at kanchi number 2 having blemishless bhakti to him number 3 joining the bhagavata goshti of astigri arulalan and if you have all these three because of the anugraha sankalpam of the lord of astigri to have this being physically close having eternal the bhakti and being associated with bhagavata goshti of astigri varadan in kanchi if you have this yesha samsara ha apavarga eva this ulagam this world this birth this life of mind 
even if it is transitory even if it is with full of scorching samsara tapam even if that this life is this itself is moksham i am certain so you catch the point swami mentions declares that this should be off quoted in our mind every day swami renders a prayer to lord vardhan to grant him his gracious blessings anugraham is grace to enable three free favors one a chance an opportunity to live a li- life and spend all the time near his shrine two flawless blemishless bhakti udanai manni valvila adime seyya vendum naan udanai manni first question first favor valvila adime a devotion to varadan and and then our bhakti is incomplete and imperfect and it's flawed if it does not extend to the bhagavatas so that is why swami says bhakti anagha anagha defectless when the bhakti becomes defectless or flawless when the bhakti is extended to bhagavatas and for that lord varada you need to create the circle of bhagavatas for me bhaktas with whom i can render service to them and as well as to varada in happy union with the bhagavatas so yeah, the what is the koodi irund kulund one should not taste sakara pongal alone one should taste with the goshti so one should enjoy varadan with the goshti so the samsara will then be a veritable moksha itself so ennavo samsarate thirandu mel veedu poi moksha rajyam to thedigireere you are asking for moksha rajyam in sri vaikuntham here itself is moksha rajyam varadan appears to be saying what is what's the prapatti roopa samsara nasha sadhanam right now is here to to extinguish to destroy the samsara thapam is here that is why the purvacharyas the acharya purushas the bhagavatottamas the mahans they even though they live they they have physical ailments they recite in sri rangam kanchi like in divya desams and in they they are so immersed in archavathara anubhavam they are so crazy mad after archavathara anubhavam and the archa murti which are swayam vyakta kshetram or manusha stet kshetram or rishis established kshetram or siddha kshetram like kanchipuram trivannagar trivallikeni tirunarayur ఆ స్వయం వ్యక్త క్షేత్రం లైక్ శ్రీరంగం త్రివేంకటం భద్రికాశ్రమం నైమిషారణ్యం శాళిగ్రామం శ్రీముష్ణం లైక్ దాట్ సో దిస్ అర్చా ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద విజిబుల్ పర్సానిఫికేషన్ ఎంబాడిమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద డివైన్ అండ్ ఏడార్ ముయల్ విట్టి కాకై పిన్ పోవదే త్రిమంగి ఆడార్ శేష్ when when we have a tasty archavataram why do we have to go to sri vaikuntham pachema malai pol meeri pavalavai kamala chengan achuta amarere aayardam kolunde ennum ichuvai tavira yan po indira lokamalum achuvai perinum venden arangama nagarulane tondradi padi aalvasesh sri rangam is enough for me even if you grant me paramapadam i am not interested he says the kainkaryam is done for this archa murti is a prelude to the nitya kainkaryam longing for sri vaikuntha so if you nirandaram nan ninaika nee ninaika vendume thirumaisha alvar says so in order to be with him near him at his lotus feet living in that divya desam he needs to bless us with that sri ranga vasam kanchi vasam త్రివళ్ళూర్ వాసం లైక్ దాట్ 
and he needs to bless us for physical proximity and just being in sri rangam or kanchi is not enough and we are having our own idiot sitting in front of the idiot box looking at the tv serial that's not what is required we need to have the blemishless bhakti contemplation of him doing right from morning till night contemplation the panchakala prakriya as well as go to temple get swigarich permal teetham like that defaultless anaga bhakti bhakti ranaga tvayasti bhakti ranaga faultless blemishless bhakti means bhakti with no no hatred no apacharam to bhagavatas if if the bhakti does not extend to bhaktas and bhagavatas others it's no, it is not anaga it's not defectless it is faulty defect and so having bhakti and talking ill of the bhagavatas is complete zero bhakti because it is not anaga it's not defectless and that's what we will call em ellam udanai manni valuvila adime valuvila defectless eternal service bhakti at his lotus feet so let's pray for that quoting this verse tvam chet prasidasi tavasmi samipa tasche tvayasti bhakti ranagha karishaila natha samsrijyate yadi cha dasa janastvadiya samsara yesha bhagavan apavarga eva we should recite this every day kavitaakika simhaya kalyana gunakaline shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha namo narayana adiye